I love our little wine fridge that I will put her to good use. I know how lucky I am to work from home. Like, I really What happened with work this morning, uh, I honestly forget that I really yearn to, like, actually get ready in the morning. Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. I meant to start this video like way earlier, but my day kind of took a turn early this morning. I'll explain that in a little bit, but I'm just now kind of taking a deep breath and allowing myself to get ready for the day and have a morning. So I'm going to go do that. I'm gonna do my skincare. All I did this morning, I woke up, brushed my teeth, sat down at my computer and I've been dealing with work stuff ever since but I'm gonna take like 30 minutes and actually get ready for my day. I honestly forget that I own this ice roller. I just remembered I had it and went and grabbed it. So nice. I need to remember this thing. That's gonna be another one of my new New Year's resolutions is ice rolling. This is just like some random one I got from Anthropology. It doesn't even have like a brand on it, but it's so good. I'm gonna put some makeup on to actually feel halfway put together. I like never put makeup on, so. But I'm also breaking out on my chin. It will not go away. My number one trick to covering your breakouts is to put your concealer on it. This is my second layer of concealer. So, so I put a first layer down, blend it out, put on a second layer and literally let it sit for like five minutes. Let it almost completely dry and then blend it out. It just adds way more coverage because otherwise I feel like concealer just blends away. We are ready for our day, feeling so much better. I talked about this on TikTok, but one of my goals for the year is to like actually get ready in the mornings, even if I'm working from home, like just putting on makeup, putting on an outfit that isn't my pajamas. It doesn't have to be like jeans, but something halfway decent. It just makes you feel so much better. Speaking of the shirt, it's huge, but I'm obsessed. It's from the brand Gym People on Amazon. Trigger. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna need this in every color. It's. I think it's supposed to be like a skim stoop. I don't have the actual original skims. Um, it's like the boyfriend tee. I don't have that, so I can't tell you, but I can tell you that I love this. Love how it feels and I need it in every color. But anyway, it's Will's birthday, big old 27. So I'm gonna cook him breakfast. I meant to do this way earlier, but the day got away from me, so. We made a really big breakfast on Saturday, so I still have a bunch of stuff left. We have bacon, pancakes, eggs. I think that's it. So I'm gonna make him and me some breakfast. I made pancakes and eggs and bacon for Will, but I just ate some eggs and bacon. I feel like I never have real bacon anymore. Like I always just have turkey bacon. Real bacon is so good. It's so much better than turkey bacon. I know it's not like as good for you, but so much better. It is already noon. I literally do not know where the day has gone. I'm about to go downstairs and do my 45 minute stationary bike. I do want to like make sure I'm lifting. I did a leg day yesterday, but I also don't want to overdo the lifting because I think you could really make your body sore and like your muscles need recovery time. So today I'm going to do a 45 minute stationary bike and then 45 minute walk after work. And I'm just going to go and get some like editing done on the stationary bike. I love it for multitasking purposes. What happened with work this morning, uh, basically I got up first thing and 
I was supposed to start a query first thing this morning because it's one that will take like all day long, possibly into the night. So the earlier I could start it, the better. So I got up, logged on like 8.30 and went to go run the query and I was just getting all sorts of errors because my plan was to start the query and then walk away basically until my first meeting of the day and just let that run. Um, but of course not, it couldn't be that easy. I was getting errors. So I had to debug those and it was just really frustrating. I couldn't figure it out. I ended up getting locked out of SAS. SAS is such a pain. I don't even know. So I just kept retrying to log in, log in, log in. And eventually it let me, no clue why I didn't do anything different. So I got back in and then I had to debug. Um, so yeah, I didn't actually end up running the query until 10.30. So I spent like two hours working on that when I my plan was to just get up, hit, run, and walk away. So that was kind of like frustrating when you have one plan in your mind and it doesn't go to plan, but it's okay. I get really like fresh, like flustered and frustrated with code stuff. When it's fixed, it's just like sunshine and rainbows. So I'm letting that run. All is good in the world. I have my first meeting. I've got my plan for the day. We don't really have any plans tonight for Will's birthday. I think we might end up doing something this weekend, like going out to dinner, but we're just kind of working. Hello. Today. Hello. What do you want? But yeah, I'm gonna block off my calendar for my lunch break, run downstairs, and knock out my first workout. Look what I have. This is his favorite toy. He loves his thing so much. Do I have your monster? <laughs> Wow, I feel like I never freaking drive anymore. I literally do not go anywhere that I have to drive. Like, we pretty much stay home or within walking distance. So it feels weird to be getting in the car, but I'm headed just to a little doctor's appointment. It's just like my annual girly pop appointment. That's one of the many, many benefits of working from home is like, I don't have to take PTO to go to an appointment. Like. If I just say I'm gonna be gone for two hours during the day, once a year or whatever, every once in a while for an appointment or whatever, you're kind of allowed to do that, at least for my company. And it's just so nice. I know how lucky I am to work from home. Like I really genuinely do. I have worked in office as a hybrid schedule. And like the days I went in, I mean, you really, I don't know. You're, it's just, there's no flexibility with that. So work from home is like, such a life changer and I know how lucky I am to do that just even this like little appointment that I'm just like running off to do I recognize is so nice because it's literally the middle of a work day on Monday anyway speaking of girly pop things I am literally sobbing crying well not right at this second but I was because I don't know if anyone else watches JC Marie Smith I'm sure someone does Oh my god, if you don't, please go watch her IVF journey. Start from episode one. She did like almost like a documentary style YouTube series on her IVF journey. I believe it's five episodes. She just released the last one. Oh my god, I'm like literally, the whole thing had me so emotional. It was so well done, first of all. Just like the way she told her story with she struggled with infertility for years and years. And yeah. I'm just like, the final episode just dropped and I'm just like, literally makes me emotional. It's just so scary, I think, because like as someone who doesn't want a kid anytime soon, it's just not where I am in my life. I'm not ready for that. It's so scary because what if one day we decide we are ready for that and then it just, it doesn't happen that easily. It's just like, you never know if it will be something that will happen easily for you or not. So yeah, but we'll just say, her thing she went through hell but it had a happy ending so if you haven't go watch her whole IVF series it's so good let's go to the doctor she's only posted it on YouTube so I'm like literally refreshing her TikTok waiting for like the announcement to be posted on TikTok like this year I want to be calm these words 
words that I want this to I am back from my appointment. It went great. If you need a Tampa gynecologist, I think she's also an OB maybe, um, DM me because I literally love her. I thought she was my age. Like she walked in the room, I'm like, you cannot be much older than me. I still probably think she might be in her like early 30s and I loved that. Like I just, I loved that. Yeah, highly suggest. I got really irritated because I won't lie, the wait time was so long. I waited for 40 minutes, um, but I was 15 minutes early. I get so irritated, like I'm so bad at waiting. I'm a very impatient person. That's probably my worst quality it is I'm very impatient. I get irritated when I have to wait for stuff, but it was so worth the wait because she was wonderful, comforting, all around great. I got in package from Lulu, it's a yoga mat, because I think I mentioned to you guys before, but I have been taking advantage of like free workout classes around here. There's a lot of places that offer free workout classes. Um, Water Street, Sparkman Wharf, and Armature Works. If you go on their websites and go to their calendars, like their event calendar, you can see where they have free workouts. They have them at least once if not twice a week um like there's been one every single week this month that i can go to so for most of them you're supposed to like bring your own yoga mat and i didn't have a yoga mat so i ordered a yoga mat i was gonna get like a cheap one off amazon but one i've ordered a cheap one off amazon before and i didn't end up liking it it was just really cheap and franklin ended up eating it when he was still a puppy so that's why i don't have one anymore and two the like nicer ones on amazon were still like 40 50 bucks and this lululemon one was on sale so i think it's regularly maybe 90 and i got it for 50. so i feel like that was a really good deal hopefully it's nice i'm gonna unbox it i will link it below hopefully it's either still in stock still on sale I'm not sure because it was in the like sale section. So I feel like when those sell out, they just go away. But if not, if you're in the market for a nice yoga mat, but cheaper than, because the aloe ones I looked at were $130. I just could not, could not do that. Let's unbox this baddie. Looks good to me. It is a five millimeter. Feels good, feels nice and thick. I'm not gonna fully unwrap it until, I think I have a workout class Thursday, I believe. It's the, I wanna say it's at Armature, let me see. It's a circuit class with the Lab Athletics at Armature. We'll put her to good use. I'm gonna lock, I'm gonna for you to lock you up. Took Franklin on a walk and then we ran to Publix. So, quick grocery haul. Got a Caesar salad kit for my lunches. Grabbed some chicken sausage and zucchini. I like to do like sheet pan meals with this. Bonza mac and cheese. I love Bonza pasta. I have tried this before, it's really good. I got a few poppies. They were buy one, get one free and they only had four left. So I was like, all right, that's a sign. Four poppies, ginger lime, I love that flavor. I don't know why there's three of them left. I guess people don't like it, I love it. I honestly love most of their flavors. The only one I don't like is watermelon, but that's just like a personal preference. I don't like watermelon as a fruit in general. And then just for snacking, I've clearly been having cheese cravings so i got some triscuits and this extra sharp cheddar cheese just to cut up in little slices and eat on the triscuits so little mini Publix haul i love our little wine fridge that i fill with all my drinkies 
We do have a couple bottles of wine in here actually. And a couple bottles of champagne. About to take my vitamins. And I'm on my second Stanley. I used to be really good at taking pills and lately I've been really bad. It's like, I can't take them. It's like they get stuck in my throat. I'm gonna do my reading and then shower, get ready for bed. Probably do some editing, possibly. Tangy, oh. Why do you look mad? Why are your eyes all big? Hmm? Are you mad? Are you mad I'm bothering you? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> 